Well, good afternoon, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Welcome back to Real Talk with SLR. You guys are watching this in the morning, uh, but for y'all, it's actually yesterday morning. I don't know. Time is time is crazy on the internet. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty but, uh, much. We're actually just uh, getting ready to have some dinner. Gary's doing some grilling. Yeah. Bread. I yeah, did yeah. my uh, special barbecue uh, concoction. Oh yeah, what's in that? I like to say or whatnot. So, what I like doing, I like getting like basically roasted garlic and herb mix. To be exact, all right, because that's not exactly just all that's in this thing. There's a lot more. It's salt, onion, spices, and herbs, including pepper. Rika, roasted garlic, citric acid, and dill meat. Mm. So, it's got that kind of flavor that's pretty nice on chicken. Mm -hmm. And I use a nice, healthy, healthy dose. I probably used about almost like a third of this container. And this is a uh, 9.25 ounce container. Wow. So, you know. And then I grab two Dr. Peppers or Chibo, Dr. Dr. Thunder. Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Same difference. And I put that inside the bag with the chicken and I shake it all about. And I get it to where it just sits in there. You know, for at least 24 hours is best to wait, you know, at minimum. Honestly, I like waiting at least 72 hours. That's where it's like, oh my goodness, the chicken is like falling apart. I can barely get off the grill at that point. And it's it's something to do with the carbon, uh, carbonization of the, uh, you know, soda. The pepper, the soda, or whatever, and everything else that's in it, which is really, really good. If any of you guys have ever grilled with beer, that's basically the same concept, but you get a little bit of that fruity flavor that Dr. Pepper has, which so it's, what, like 23 different flavors inside Dr. Pepper? Supposedly. Supposedly. And it's, it's a nice little, it's a like, nice little taste to it. Now, as soon as you get that done, you put it on the grill. As, as you can see, I've already, you know, sort of grilled the chicken. And I got it to where it's starting to brown. That nice, you know, nice burn into it. Where it's not burnt. It's got nice crispiness to it. Once you achieve that nice crispiness, that's when you add the actual barbecue sauce to it. You don't add the sauce to it and let it marinate in it because if any of y'all are one of those that like to throw a barbecue in it and just let it marinate and then you end up being the guy here, oh, it's on fire, everything's on fire, you throwing things at it. It's because barbecue sauce is flammable at some point. Well, it's all the sugar in it. It's all the sugar and everything yeah. else and it gets going up real quick. So try to hold off and add the barbecue sauce. Once you get that nice little burn to it, and I'm only going to do this one side for right now, close the lid, let it go for probably about five minutes, continue to do the other side, and then that will be fully barbecued all the way around. I'm going to do that three times, ideally. I can get away with it if it's two times if I run out of barbecue sauce, but it's a lot of barbecue sauce. Also, that's what gives it the chef kiss though exactly. yeah so, good flavoring it does take a very long time for the chicken because of it true and not only that chicken takes forever to cook anyway especially on the grill and you're not trying to like you know immediately go <laughs> <"Hey>, <laughs> right so i try to set my grill as low as possible and it normally sits right around like two what is that 260 270 270 so it's right about there. Once it gets into the pink, that's when I'm like, what's going on? Because I, I like it to slowly heat up so it gets extremely juicy and it just falls off the boat. Yeah. I mean, that's the best, right? <sighs> it's hot next to this grill. Well, let's get away from it and come and do a chat. You got that thing just sitting there. I got it just sitting here. I'm going to have to. Let's just chill right here with the yes. girl behind us. Yeah. Let me set you guys up one second. Well, while we wait for dinner to be ready, I guess we could talk about how today went. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good day. It was a great day. Yeah. It was a, a gift day. <laughs> a gift. It was a gift. 
Anybody uh, remember what that means? Hey, I'm trying to look at it positive as a gift. It's a gift because now it's going to get done and we're not going to have to deal with it in Arkansas. So I look at it as a gift. I'm trying not to be Debbie Downer, but I'm irritated. I wanted to get this done. I was like, oh yeah, all right, all right. And every single one I'm going into, I'm like, Baby, you should know by now that life this doesn't work that good. way. This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> Bring it back on that one, man. Yeah, it, it's a gift. A gift. Yeah. Oh, man. So it was the gift I kept on giving. We did get a lot of work done. Yes. Um, I don't want to spoil too much because I'm going to edit out a video. You guys are going to see it today on Simple Life Reclaimed. Yes. But we did run into a handful of challenges, I guess, per the usual. Like, we shouldn't expect... You are always like, oh, it's not going to take so long. This should be easy. And in the back of my mind, like, I really want to believe that, but I know better. Like, I know better. In all reality wise, right, even with the struggle and everything else, what we did was pretty easy in a sense, right? In a sense. In a sense, it was easy. <laughs> so all it is is taking that and putting it up there, right? So you think. So you think. So, so you, you start doing it. Yeah. And it's like... Oh, this involves this, 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 this. It's like, oh my goodness, this list. Are we ever going to get this thing up? This is the <laughs> list that never ends. It just goes on and on, my friends. And we're trying to do it as safe as possible. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. How do you think outside the box today? Today was uh, There was definitely, like, um, uh, ropes and clamps and um, pulleys type things. There's all sorts of stuff yep. used today. In the making of today's I'm episode. Walking beams and yeah. I was up on the roof. <laughs> yeah. It was a, it was a lot of back and forth. It there. was a lot. It was a lot, a lot of work. But the end result is looking so freaking good. Yeah. We had some things that uh, didn't measure out, and I was thinking that they were measuring out, and when we installed and then it wasn't measuring out, things had to get shifted around. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot, but you know what? Like we gave it all we got. We worked really, really hard um, through siesta, even like through the blistering heat. So, I mean, you ended up making uh, some lunch, good old sandwich, and everything, which gave me that energy I needed for that last, last like that last little bit of the day. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just with everything going on, nonstop, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It got to a point where I literally, I threw my hands up and I was like, you know what? We're at a really good spot right now. I wanted to be at this spot, you know, earlier where I thought we were, but it wasn't. We had to redo things that were already done. It was, yeah. So there was a lot of back and forth today. I'm really happy about it. However, we are ready to wrap it up. Yeah. Like going tomorrow and all sorts of things. You're just gonna have to figure out what kind of rock and roll are we talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be as big as possible, but yet have your mind really we're trying, water. We're trying to spill the beans without spilling all the beans. You know what I mean? Like we're, we're we spilling always, the beans without spilling the beans. We're trying to like we're, we're literally like whoa, whoa, We're trying whoa, to open the whoa. lid and like waft <laughs> the aroma your way, you know, so you can kinda like tell what it's about to be like. That, and you're sitting there with your bowl ready, you know, and you get your spoon, your sour cream, your it's cheese, you're like ready. It's the move the kids do when you say, don't spill that, be extremely careful. Go, oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it puts them on notice. spill it, but it I, I got really it close. Puts, puts them on notice. <laughs> no. Work today ended up working out um, as well as it could. Yes. We're not done. There's no, I'll, I'll spill a little. We'll never be done for There's, a while. I know. I'll give you a little aroma. Well, we're ta we're trying to get done with this back deck area so we could start working on the mug room, you yeah. know? We're I not done with the back deck area. Yeah. We're not. And I will give you a little flavor, a little, a little hint of flavor. Um, the zip board is not on the roof yet. No. We're not there yet. You can, you can uh, say that that's not the rocket that I was talking about. Yeah. But we're ready. We're so close. We're, we're right roll. there. We're right there. But we're ready for a different rock and roll. You'll see. You'll see what's You'll up. You'll see. But 
But yeah, it was a good day though. It was a very good day. I'm happy with it. I got to spend uh, a good morning with you guys this morning mm -hmm. uh, down over at the goat area. Yeah. So that way you guys have a time frame on filming and stuff. Same day. I'm filming. We're filming two real talks today, just so that way I could be ahead of the game. Because tomorrow is going to be rock and roll time. There's not going to be any time to do any real talks. Chicken, 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 chicken. Okay. I don't want to burn my chicken. I don't want you to burn the chicken. And I figured doing it tonight would be good. Um, that way we could just tell you how today went instead of hearing about how today went tomorrow. I mean, it's the same thing, right? So, hey. But, um, yeah, the goats are doing really good. Uh, they're hanging out with their lead area. Um, we're probably going to keep them there for the next day or two because that area gets so much shade and there's so much food for them to eat over there. Um, so I'm probably going to keep them over there for a bit. We do have that electrical fence coming. Yeah, we do. We have that electrical fence coming, so they won't be tied up to the lead forever. But I'm not going to be receiving that until sometime um, next week. And then we still have to go and pick up the charge controller and stuff. So there's a few things that we have left to do before we can have them completely set up on the, uh, the electric fence. But it's all in the works. There's so many moving parts right now at this time in our life. It's just crazy. And uh, like I always say, we're trying to do all the things, make time for all of the things, and not go crazy in the process. <laughs> Try not to. Yeah. It's a lot harder said than done. Yeah. Especially when you're, you know, you're trying your hardest to get something done, and it seems like the world is trying to fight back at you. Every turn you go. <laughs> well, yeah, like every time that we turn around lately with this back decking area, there has been something. There has it. This one is way or for one reason or another to do this back deck roofing area. Not even like the decking part. The decking part was way easier than this roofing part. This roofing part has been an absolute nightmare. I'm not gonna lie. Like we're pushing through it with a smile on our face, but it has been every time that we go out to work on it, there's been something. And it's very frustrating, like being the the person living living in it. It's very frustrating, and I'm sure it's probably a little frustrating to y'all back at home too. But what are you gonna do, man? That's life. You just gotta roll with it, keep in positive attitude because negativity isn't gonna do anything but bring on more negativity, and we don't want no part of that. So we're just gonna keep on smiling, keep on pushing through it, and one day, one of these days, it'll just be a faded memory, you know, so it's all good, baby. It's all good. How's that chicken looking? Very, very good. Give it a little bit more loving. Mm -hmm. Flipped it and it got it all uh, over on the other side. And the good thing is about waiting, hmm. about barbecuing it before or after or whatever, it's got that little bit of crisp on it. When you do that, it almost caramelizes before you flip it. Ah. So that way, every time you're adding so more, well, I'm adding three times yeah, that yeah. amount, and I'm caramelizing Did you salt it. it? I mean, there's salt inside of that. That's whatever. That's how I do it all the time. You didn't do the I don't do kosher any, salt thing I anymore? I don't do any. You I used don't, to. I mean, I used to when I mixed all that myself. But in that, that is nice kosher salt. Um, Gary used so, to do a thing back in Arizona where he'd like rub the chicken with like kosher salt and like do yeah. and then season it up that way. I would do, I mean, so there's multiple different ways that I, I do it. That is the easiest and the fastest way. Mm -hmm. In the sense the of pre -blend like, seasoning. the pre-blend, it's already got it all mixed. Exactly what you want, exactly what you need. If I add salt to it, it becomes too salty. Hmm. Those are the times when you're like, this is extremely salty. Yeah, yeah. It's because I added salt to it on top of that. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> I just was wondering. I just so was I don't, wondering. I don't add any salt or anything to it. I learned, you know, real quick. But it's, unless you're mixing all those ingredients by yourself, then you have to add salt and yeah. everything else and trying to do the culture. But. Yeah, I don't do any of the grilling around here. Like, not really. I'll use my Ninja Foodie, and it has, like, a grill setting on it. But I don't really do any of the grilling. I do 95% of the cooking around here, I would say, at least. 
But in the summer, Gary does a whole lot more cooking and it's always on the grill. He does all of the um, pork steaks and like chicken. I do like grilling. Yeah. The only thing that I don't like is when it's super hot like it is right now. Yeah. And, you know, we already work a hot day outside, and now here I am, standing next to a hot grill. Yeah, I already went and showered and rinsed off. I'm like, I'm done with this heat. So, Gary's still, out here still sweating. I'm still sweating. Thank you, baby. Porn. Thank you, baby. All right. I'll pull my load out there for you. I appreciate it. Um, but today's going to be, or tonight's going to be a good day. Today has been a great day. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the house build has been going really well. Yeah. I wish today went a little bit better, but at the same time, I can't be upset at it because standing back and looking at what we did today, it's like, wow, okay, right. I can start seeing it. And I should, I said this today to Mel too, I don't know if she caught it on the film or not, I need to stop worrying and stressing and everything else and just go by what I had planned originally and just keep going that way. I've been and telling just keep him doing this that, and for then years. once it's all said and done, and then now it is time for me to tackle that situation, then think about it. I've been telling you that for years. I'm so happy that you finally came this to the year. epiphany. Because because of how today went. Well, with how today went, but not only that, but I can start seeing it a lot clearer and start seeing exactly how it's going to be, and it is starting to pan out exactly the way I wanted it to be. So. I need to stop stressing and worrying about that and just go through it and worry about the situation that's at hand. I've been telling him this for a while. I'm so happy that we finally made a breakthrough today. Can't tell you how well it'll stick, but... (laughs) We'll work on him. him. Little by little, friends. Little by little. You know? I can't help it. I did go down to uh, all the animal areas this morning while you were sleeping, and um, I got the chickens all taken care of. They needed some more feed. I did like a super deep cleaning of the rabbit's pens because they really needed it, and like I hosed out the inside of them, got them all done, and fed everybody there too. Um, Did a little bit of this and that in the garden, not a lot. I'm still going to need a good garden day on Sunday. And um, this weekend, we have to go buy some feed for the other animals. I do the dogs and cats and stuff, too. So. I did a lot this morning before work. And then we worked our booties off, and now we're just kind of tired. But tonight's going to be a really good night. Um, night. Tonight is our family game night with the kiddos. It's a good family game night. Yeah. We try to do family game night once a week with the kids, whether it be a board game or video games. Or, like, going out on a walk or doing something. We try to do some sort of family something at least once a week. Thursdays is typically our days, especially during the school year. It just seems to be, like, the best day for us. tend to definitely be the best. Yeah. Especially since, you know, Wednesday we do live. And Mm -hmm. live nights tend to be hectic anyway. Mm -hmm. And uh, Thursday is, like, the reward night of, all right, kids. It's almost Friday. You did great, you know, this week. And... You did great this last little bit, and mm-hmm. we just had fun. Yeah. Hang out before Friday, or they go and go ham. Yep. You know, so our, tonight's tonight's going to be our family game night. Yeah. Our family's Friday. Yeah, kind of, like, because on actual Friday, we usually will do, like, you know, pizza night and stuff, um, and we'll but, hang out together, but a lot of times the kids will want to start playing their video games and stuff, because usually during when, the week we don't let them play. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and then, that's like, when once the, video the weekend game starts. System is allowed to be obsessed by them, and, and then it's their time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, it's going to be a good night, though. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a very good night. It's going to be a very great night. Well, I smell that chicken. You might want to give it another look, too. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm checking. It's just about to be to that peak. So. Good. Well, I'm going to get rolling, guys. i got to go inside and start making some side dishes. We just wanted to pop in and uh, tease you a little bit with what you guys can expect to come out on Simple Life Reclaimed later on today. Yep. Um, tomorrow on Friday, Gary and I are going to be busting our booty. Mm-hmm. Got some more work to do, so there's more stuff coming down mm-hmm. the pipe per the usual. Yep. But, I'm going to have you uh, probably uh, edit and come outside and help me tomorrow. Just, you know. 
when I need it, per se. Yeah, because tomorrow Gary should only need these guns. Like, that should pretty much be I should where need, we're at tomorrow. I'm going to need your hand in the morning. Okay. Just so you can help me pull a tape measure. Okay. And I can get some good numbers. But after that, I should be good to leave you alone until I get what I need done, and then I'm going to need to still need to help you get that up there. Okay. For a minute. Okay. You know. Yeah. And then once that's done, then I, you can skip that one and I'll get it to where we are ready to rock and roll. <laughs> right. That sounds like a plan for me. So. <laughs> All right, well, when you guys are watching this, I'm probably going to be uh, waist deep in the matrix. Who knows? Yep. But tomorrow's a whole other day. We'll worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. Today, we're just going to enjoy the rest of our evening with our family, enjoy those kiddos, enjoy some good groceries, good food. Yep. I'm going to need to get on that chicken. I need that in the heat. So. Yeah, and i got to scramble up some sides. So yep. I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today and watching today's Real Talk with SLR. You guys were hanging out with me twice today. I appreciate it. Um, but we'll be back tomorrow with another episode. So until then, friends, we love y'all, and we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later. Your poor eyeballs in the I'm sun. Blind. <laughs> Blinded by oh, the light. Gary's right old Popeye. Oh. <laughs>